my dear students welcome to epg patshala i am dr mp stija professor retired from the department of library and information science guru nanak dev university amritsar the topic for discussion is the formation of arrays or the principle of helpful sequence in an array the work still continues in the idea plane indeed the work in the idea plane is long and heavy after breaking the universe of knowledge under classification into individual concepts the work of making arrays and chains of entities begins it is the work of ordering the universe an array is a group of sequence or of, of entities of equal rank arrays may exist at all levels from main classes to facets for example all the sons and daughters of a parent in a family make an array as another example of the states of india make an array within a given state all the districts make an array in a classification system all the main classes make one array since an array has many members so it is very important rather most essential that each member in the array be placed in some proper order sequence of members in the array should be systematic logical and according to some set criteria that should be known the problem is that members in an array can be arranged in many ways or in many orders it depends upon the nature of the entities in the group or also on the purpose of classification but we have to choose that order which is suitable to the library users as our classification systems are ultimately made for them ranganathan in his practical manner formulated many objective and well stated principles for logical and helpful arrangement of members in an array classification is order classification means an orderly arrangement or the or to put entities in some order sequence act of classification is to put objects in some sequence meaningful groups that is logical or of some age or help its users classification whatever be its purpose is always utilitarian it means it should be of utility to some people who want to use it and it is a means to some and is utilitarian classification is for library users so it must be useful to them to majority of them the order which is classification imposes or discovers should be useful to the library users library patrons in using the library and its documents ranganathan has ingeniously invented a pupa pattern of documents on the shelves regarding the pupa you will study later most of other schemes such as the dewey decimal classification universal decimal classification or the library of congress classification achieve helpful order on the shelves by ordering disciplines and main classes according to some criteria which should be predictable which should be known for example the ddc choose the inverted baconian order that is the order which was invented or formulated by francis bacon cutter's main classes in his expensive classification in the 19th century are in an evolutionary order this order has also been adapted by the library of congress classification as this classification is also somewhat based on cutter's classification henry bliss for his bibliographic classification after long search and deliberations formulated an order based on what he calls scientific and educational consensus so it was something cooperative he studied many people's expectations from an order of the entities or knowledge and he formulated or he arranged his classes in that order which were perceived by most of the educationist and scientist of his times levels of orders for asaranganathan classification is an objective art based on logic and science it should be knowable and made known he has achieved helpful order at many levels in designing his colon classification to have an ultimate order which is logical on the shelves and for information retrieval and useful to the people who use the library apart from order of main classes 
the order of facets and isolates within each category is systematic and according to some set criteria or logical criteria. This is achieved by formulating the principles of helpful sequence in an array. It is to arrange entities of an array or the members of an array in an order which is up to the expectations of the maximum use to majority of the library users. Please remember he has used the term majority of the users, not all the users. For this, Ranganathan has formulated eight principles to arrange entities in some helpful logical order in an array of classes. Ranganathan, in his very famous prolegomena to library classification in section number FA2, has formulated the following eight principles for arranging entities in an array in a helpful way. A librarian or a classifier could choose any of the one at a time for arrangement of entities, depending upon the nature of entities to be arranged. Principle of later in time or Q principle you can also call it. Principle of later in evolution as the things occur in time or they evolve. Principle of spatial contiguity or geographical nearness. Principle of quantitative measure mean if the things involve quantity they can be arranged according to their quantity, increasing or decreasing. Principle of increasing complexity, though they should be arranged in varying complexity in some set order. Principle of canonical sequence is a classic and traditional sequence. Principle of literary warrant means the principle of popularity. Most popular is to be given first place and the entities may be arranged in the order of their decreasing popularity or literary warrant. And lastly, principle of alphabetical sequence, the entities may be arranged alphabetical by name. And please note, this is the last result because Ranganathan never considered alphabetical arrangement as a classified one. Now, let us take each principle one by one. Entities in an array may be arranged in a chronological or historical sequence. Kings of a country may be arranged according to their period of rule. Indian Prime Ministers may be arranged in the order Nehru, Shastri, Indira Gandhi, Muradji Desai, Vajpayee, Manmohan Singh, Narendra Modi. The DDC arranges Mughal kings in the order of their ascending the throne. Babur, Hamayu, Akbar, Jahangir, Shah Jahan, Aurangzeb, and the rest. Extending this analogy a bit, a queue waiting for a bus or before a booking window is also according to this order and this is order is very helpful for civil order. It is an order which may be called first come first served and which is the law of a civilized life. Evolutionary order. A related principle is later in time as the evolution takes place in time. So to some extent they are similar but of course difference is also there. Some entities can be arranged as they have evolved. For example, animals can be arranged from amoeba to mammals. Plants are arranged from thylophyta to dicotyledons by the botanists. Societies as they have evolved can be arranged hunting society, agriculture society, industrial society and information society. Evolution can be biological, social or technological. In fact, the evolutionary order subsumes chronological order as said earlier. For example, generations of computers exhibit both of the orders. So do the types of governments in political science. From anarchy to democratic and welfare state. Principle of spiritual contiguity. Another principle is of geographical proximity or spiritual contiguity if the members exist either in space or on the surface of the earth, say planets or the parts of the human body or the states of India. If the entities exist in space, their arrangement should be near to one another as they configure naturally in space or on earth. We can arrange Indian states in the order of J and K starting from North, Punjab, Himachal Pradesh, UP and so on we can go to down south and then we can go to east and then we can 
uh, move further like in this direction. Planets in space may be arranged like Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Pluto, etc. This method provides many techniques to arrange many different types of entities and different spatial orders. Ranganathan has given further five sub principles detailed into total 13 techniques for arranging entities in space or on earth using principles of geographical contiguity or proximity. These are one principle of entities along a vertical line if they exist in a one horizontal order, principle of bottom upwards or principle of top uh, upwards. Second, principle for entities along a horizontal line, principle of left to right or principle of right to left. Third is principle for entities along a circular line, principle of clockwise direction or principle of counterclockwise direction. Four, principle for entities along a radial line, principle of periphery to center or principle of center to periphery. And fifth, principle of away from position. So, Ranganathan gave many sub principles or autonomy to the classifiers to choose any order depending upon in which a sequence or in which place the different entities in the space exist. Principle of quantitative measure. This principle requires that if members or entities are associated with some quantity, inherent quantity, weight or number, then these may be arranged in the order of their increasing quantity. For example, Indian currency notes may be arranged in the order 1 rupee, 2 rupee, 5 rupee, 20 rupees, 50 rupee, 100 rupees, 500 rupee, and 1000 rupee. So they are in the order of their increasing quantity, as very obvious. Public libraries may be arranged in the order national library, regional library, state library, district library, municipal library, and lastly, village library, as the quantity or the services go on decreasing from national library to the village library. In town planning, we can arrange village planning, town planning, city planning, and metropolitan city planning. Principle of increasing complexity. It is also somewhat related with the principle of increasing quantity. It lays down that the entities may be arranged in the order of their increasing complexity. Linguistic elements can be arranged as syllable, word, phrase, clause, sentence, paragraph, chapter, book, and so on. So you can see that here syllable is least complex and chapter of a book is most complex because it comprises of all the preceding entities. Similarly, algebraic equations can be arranged as first order equation, second order equation, third order equations are in the increasing complexity. As third order equation is more complex than first order equations as you know. Literary warrant principle. As the name implies or in other words we can also say that it is the principle of popularity or use or even of favored category by the majority. Further, entities can be arranged according to their popularity of use. For example, in agriculture, we can arrange food seeds in the order rice, wheat, rye. As rice is the most popular food all over the world and next come wheat and so on. Canonical sequence. This principle is applied to some traditional entities or to the traditional order which already exists in a society. Further, if there is any traditional sequence of entities already existing, then it should be respected and must be followed as we traditionally say Radhe Sham, Sita Ram, Aljabra Jamratri, not the other way, and so on. We never say Ram Sita. So this is the order because the society has fixed for us and the classifier or the classificationist has also to honor it. Though there may not be any logical in it. It is known as principle of canonical sequence 
canonical means traditional and traditions whenever it exists is respected in the civilized society and is upheld by law this principle implies that if any traditional sequence is prevalent irrespective of its logic then the library classification designer must resort to that and accept it alphabetical sequence paradoxically it is a sequence with which the librarians are identified rightly or wrongly ranganathan says lastly if no other principle applies for arrangement of entities in an array then the entities may be arranged in alphabetical order all the united nation members states are arranged in alphabetical order for political reasons long list of names of persons is better arranged in alphabetical order library of congress uses it as the most frequently applied principle mostly for hospitality in psychology for example the human emotions have been arranged alphabetically in the library of congress anger awe fear words in a dictionary are arranged in alphabetical order otherwise it won't be possible to consult the order in them and this is also known as dictionary order so alphabetical order or dictionary orders are synonymous alphabetically arranged entries can be easily located and of course it is also a political tool for example in a meeting of chief ministers of states in india called by the prime minister all the chief ministers are arranged or placed in the alphabetical order of their name of the states so that nobody can have a grievance that one is given a front place or a back place again in the case of currency notes you will see that all the names of indian languages showing the denomination of the currency are given in alphabetical order starting from assami to urdu ranganathan advises to use this as a least preferred method by the librarians as this order is not logical exceptions to the helpful order it may be noted that classification means order at every level but since classification as a purpose it is utilitarian it is to be used by human beings so to make it useful there may be some variations even violations of the logical order and these can be studied under exceptions every principle of helpful sequence is subject to the exception when any other or helping consideration rules it out ranganathan writes the ranganathan has not given any example of such an exception in any of the principles but the two exceptions that come to mind seems to be logical and helpful order are principle of local variation readers interest classification so if the principle of local variation or readers interest classifications or interest of readers in classification are overwhelming more demanding then this order in array can be changed change to make the classification more useful and utilitarian and acceptable to the users exceptions to the helpful order now let us explain local variations allow an entity to be taken out of its logical order to be placed at some favorable place where it is more likely to be used ranganathan has allowed the placement of local subjects such as national philosophy language or even history to be given the first place in the array this is also in accordance with the favored category principle this has also prompted many libraries using ddc to place four zero languages and eight zero zero literature together instead of to be separated by the intervening 500 to 700 main classes the bullishes bibliographic classification and the ddc also make provisions for alternative places for some of the subjects for example the religion in bullish classification can be placed either at p or at z the arrangement of entities in an array is said to be helpful helpful to the majority of the users but not much research has been done what is helpful to the majority we may not be knowing the needs of the users as far as their approach to classification is concerned since cutter's time 
Judith's convenience had been uppermost in the minds of the classificationists and indexers. In the present environment, Judith is a king and at the center stage of all considerations for library services, as in other societies. Yet all the big and general classification systems were not designed on the basis of any user survey or their classification needs or subject approach to the library material. So it did a great drawback. In recent editions, the DDC did make a survey of users on a small scale and preferences to guide them in reviving the DDC. But that was not sufficient. These local arrangements have been even preferred by the library users, no matter if these violate the logical order of the users. I think they are acceptable to the many of the users. Classifications are not exhibition grounds of logic, but to serve the users to their convenience. Facet sequence. Facets make an another array. It is citation order also. In classification, one of the vital steps is the determination of helpful sequence of facets in a subject. This means the syntax or the sentence formation of facets. The syntax of facets based on postulates and principles automatically yields a sequence of subjects giving satisfaction to the majority of the readers and it is also logical. What is the facet sequence? Then comes the order of facets in a compound or complex subject to make a narrow subject spread out logically with all its ramifications. Suppose our subject in the array is academic libraries. Then all the documents dealing with various aspects such as its patrons, technical services, public services, relation with other libraries be arranged in some helpful order. For this, Ranganathan has given what he calls the principle of facet sequence. This is called citation order in case of indexing. Both mean the same thing. The facet sequence falls within the overarching and grand sequence of categories in the PMEST order. This order being general, this is non specific, is in complete to abstract order. It achieves arrangement of books from general to specific order on the shelves or in post coordinate indexing for searching databases or in bibliographies for micro subjects. These principles of facet sequence are helpful in keeping the facets in logical order in case of rounds and levels of categories. Principles of facet sequence given by Ranganathan. The citation order exists in every classification and indexing. However, Ranganathan was the first classification theorist to develop an explicit and comprehensive theory of citation order, says Eric Hunter. This order is PMEST and within that the order of facet sequence as a category exists in more than one facets. Principles of facet sequence given by Ranganathan are the first and foremost is wall picture principle, whole organ principle, Aukoff principle, and lastly and more complex act and action actor tool principle. Wall picture principle is the most famous and most comprehensive principle for facet sequence. It states that you are two or more facets or entities. If one depends on the other for its operation or existence, then the dependent must follow the independent. A picture in a mural cannot exist without a wall, hence this principle. So first we should have wall, then the painting on it. Of the two facets, disease and treatment, there cannot be any treatment without the disease, hence the sequence is disease treatment. Similarly, in economics, the order should be production, distribution, and consumption, as uh, the three are obvious in the decreasing dependence. In the citation order, literature, English, Shakespeare, works, we can see the use of repeated wall picture principle. 
this principle also follows later in time sequence in one way. Whole organ principle. If a facet is a part or organ of another whole entity, then the obvious and the logical sequence is whole organ. For example, parliament, Lok Sabha committees, they consist are in the order of their whole to part. Similarly, in a university setup, we can have a sequence like this, university, faculty, school, class, and lastly section, if any. Its corollary is whole odd principle because organ is a part of the whole. And of course, resulting order by this principle is always hierarchical, which is considered natural and scientific order. Kaukov principle. This principle states that the two entities which are naturally together should not be separated forcefully or forcibly. It may also be stated as mother infant principle. As a small breastfed child cannot survive, should not be separated from the mother. So such entities, though independent in themselves, should be kept together without the intervening facet. Tradition is from India, where a milch cow and its newly born calf are not separated when the cow is sold to someone else, so both go together. Otherwise, the calf will not survive and the mother will not give the milk. Similarly, president, his or her functions cannot and should not be separated. The sequence should be India, president, powers. Because powers cannot be separated from president and president cannot be separated from India. In fact, you can see the use of two principles here. India president is a sort of whole organ principle and president powers is a sort of cow calf principle. Act and action actor tool principle. This is a complex principle or comprising of two or more already stated principles or facet sequence. This compounded principle is geared into service when many facets are to be arranged. Here, actor is an object on which the action takes place. Actor is the doer, while tool is the instrument used for performing action. Example given in his famous Prol Gomna is girl spinning cotton on Charkha. You will see here, girls are the actors. Spinning is action, cotton is action on which the work is being done, and Charkha is the instrument that is the tool. Here the order of facets will be cotton followed by spinning followed by girls and lastly charkha. This is in perfect cynic with wall picture principle or the principle of dependency. In fact all the principles enunciated by Raghunathan are corollaries of the seminal facet sequence of wall picture or in other words the principle of dependency. C.R.G. London facet formula. Ranganathan's theory of facet sequence or the formulas for facet sequence, though basic, seminal, look rudimentary when it comes to very complex subjects. Therefore, the work of facet sequence or citation order has got constant attention of the indexers and the classificationists and theory makers. The latest and ultimate research has come from the classification research group London. Its formula is things, their kinds, their parts, their material, properties, processes, operation, agents. So you can see that it looks much more complicated than Raghunathan's latest or complex formula. However, this formula doesn't mention space and time which however may be added at the end and is simply elucidation of wall picture principle or PMSD order with some concrete examples. Absolute syntax. In fact, Ranganathan wanted to go further into very seminal and abstract realm to find an absolute syntax of ideas as they form in the human mind. 
So, in addition to that, Ranganathan aspired for an absolute sequence of facets of a compound subject in the minds of majority of the intellectuals, as he writes in his Prolovna at section XJ. That search for absolute syntax seems futile, as there cannot be any absolute sequence of things in the nature. No classification is natural except that it serves your purpose. Order is mostly imposed, not discovered. Language who is social, not natural or neural. Different cultures, people think differently. Hence, no further light seems to be coming on the issue since Ranganathan mooted the idea of absolute syntax as back as in 1958. Though he imagines that his promised order is near to the absolute syntax. Nevertheless, there is no absolute order anywhere as there is no research going on further. Helpful order in arrays or logical sequence of facets result ultimately in one Ranganathan calls a pupa pattern. That is the ultimate order that we achieve on the shelves. That is being utilized by the users. That is on the surface. However, the ultimate and the visible order of in library classification is of the books on the shelves. Ragnarsson, in all his ingenuity, has managed to put documents in an order which is called by an acronym APUPA. Here U means umbral, P is penumbral, A stands for alien subjects. The core or pithy subjects or the subject matter with the highest density is placed in the U zone, umbral zone. While on its left and right are penumbral zones which have less subject density. On the left, this zone is made of approach documents such as dictionaries, glossaries, or bibliographies of the subject. While on the right of you, penumbral zone comprises of advances such as research, critical studies, or professional associations of the core subject. These are meant for the advanced learners. The A on both the sides refers to a previous or the next neighboring subject. In this way, the user approaches shelves in a way learner initiates, graduates and then makes further deep advances in the subject. This order is of gradual learning or of self-learning order. That's why it has been said to classify is to learn. Book numbers. There is also some order or sequence in the book numbers that Ranganathan invented or formulated for his colon. Apart from the pupa pattern, books having the same specific subject have to be arranged in some logical or helpful order. Without such sub-arrangement, there will be small pockets of chaos on the shelves. This order is achieved by book numbers. Ranganathan has proposed chronological order on the shelves with the same specific subject and has determined it to be helpful in self-learning and collection management. Other schemes like DDC and the Library of Congress classification prefer alphabetical arrangement by author for easy location for the convenience of the users. Both these types of sub-arrangements have their advantages and adherents or advocates. But it may be noted that the chronological order is some sort of a later in time order as given by Ranganathan for helpful sequence in array. Arrangement of members in an array should not only be systematic or logical, it should also be helpful to the users. Ranganathan has given many methods or principles for arrangement of entities as it had been already explained to you. However, these are to repeat principle of later in time, Second, principle of later in evolution. Third, principle of spatial contiguity or geographical proximity. Four, principle for quantitative measure if the things are in high quantity or low quantity. Principle of increasing complexity. Principle of canonical sequence that is for traditional arrangement. Principle of literary brand that is on the basis of popularity. Principle of alphabetical sequence if no other sequence works. Another level 
is helpful or logical facet sequence. It is the syntactical relation in a compound or multi worded terms. It is a citation order in vocabulary control or indexing language and facet formula in classificatory language. Ranganathan gave simple but concrete principles for facet sequence such as wall picture principle, a cow calf principle and so on. Ranganathan's principle of facet sequence though basic are now simple and bit primitive. The CRG London and the second edition of bibliographic classification by J. Mills have given more sophisticated and up-to-date uh, citation order for facet sequence compatible with the depth classification required today. The work of facet sequence or citation order has got constant attention of the indexers and the classificationist theorists. The latest and ultimate research has come out from the CRG London. Uh, its formula is things, kinds, parts, materials, properties, processes, operations, agents. This formula does not mention space and time, which however may be added at the end and is simply an elucidation of the wall picture principle or PMST orders.